Vicky from Hello Spirit Pursuers. We have come to the Jubilee Hall in Litcham. Now I'm currently standing outside in what would have been the playground um, because according to some of the history I've been given this building was originally a school and it would have been originally a school around 1890. Um, it is partly owned, I believe, by the church. You can see the All Saints Church behind me. Um, it, it is literally next door to the church. Um, I don't know much else of the history about the building itself. It is quite small. Um, and... Uh, it's very cold at the minute. <laughs> I'm standing outside and it's freezing. But um, hopefully we'll get some interesting activity. I did leave Dan here briefly for a few minutes and he was taking some pictures for me and he'd already start to pick up some strange, strange images. Not entirely sure what that's all about. But uh, if you like watching our videos, please do give it the thumbs up. And subscribe if you want to be notified of more of our videos. Um, but yes, I'm going to go back inside now because I am freezing. So for now, catch you later. We just literally put an equipment out. We put a REM pod in the main corridor and this is the second time it's gone off. It's been reset and put back down again to see if it is glitch. And it's doing exactly the same thing again. I am just going to get a EMF. So bear in mind a REM pod, we get an EMF. Okay, so we are, okay, that is detecting. There is definitely something here. Right, okay, so, okay, that's given off a little bit of EMF for heater. Whatever that is down there, in the middle of the floor, Okay, and the motion sensor is going berserk in the kitchen. Even though Dan is standing nowhere near it now. It's across the doorway, so if someone was to walk through there, it would go off. I don't know what's causing that. I, I really don't, because, I mean, closest point of electromagnetic field is this heater and it's all the way over here and you can see I'm moving the EMF and it's fluctuating now into the middle of the floor there we go as I'm going this way something in this area of this floor is, is triggering this but what's strange is the lights are not going off on the rim Is anybody here? Can you make the lights flash for me on the REM pod? That's the device that's on the floor with the red light. Can you do that for me? Can you go closer to the aerial? I'd really appreciate it if you could. If you're passing through into the kitchen area, go and trigger the motion sensor in the kitchen. We're getting a little bit of fluctuation on here. Can you make the lights flash on the REM pod for me? 
Go closer to the device in the middle of the floor. Step away from the grey device in my hand and go towards the device on the floor. This is bizarre. Okay, so you've had stuff on pictures already. This is going off. This is just crazy. So maybe we try another REM pod in here, a different one. Yeah. Uh, We've just swapped over REM pods. So, and reset them both. Put one in there, basically just swapped them over with their locations. So, to see, and you can see that this is still picking up EMF. So let's see how long it takes. It's not in exactly the same position, but not far off. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this one. We've swapped them over anyway. Okay, let's leave it to it. Hello. Right, we're inside the hall. I'm just going to do a quick run through uh, of where we've placed some equipment and Dan can explain where he's placed his. So, bear with. Okay, so I've placed the TAD in the middle of the room. Um, the TAD will detect fluctuations in temperature. So it will go red when it gets warm and it will go blue when the temperature drops and it gets colder. Now, the reason we've placed it in the middle of the hall is well, this is the largest room, so, and Dan has been uh, checking the temperature, and what was the temperature, Dan? Uh, 11 degrees. 11 degrees. It was a little bit warmer when we first started out, so it is dropping. So, REM pod in the doorway here, just on the step. Uh, Dan, what have you placed? I've left one of my balls on the uh, hatch through to the kitchen. So... Cat ball, motion activated. There's another one on the window over there. Another one just up there on that windowsill ledge. And what else There's have you placed? There's a rain pod on here which has no sound, so I'll keep an eye out for lights going off. So, we'll see them a mute rem pod on yeah. the window. And another cat ball over here. Just tap the window. Another ledge. cat ball on the windowsill ledge, which Dan has activated. He's also yeah. got his SLS on the table set up there. Structured light sensor camera, which sends out millions of beams. Which is recording. It is recording. Hello. Uh, he's got his camera there on a tripod ready. Um, various other bits of equipment we've got to walk through the building with. Out here. Another REM pod just in the main entrance. In the kitchen, I have placed motion activation. So anyone comes through this doorway, it will trigger it. And that, on the floor down there, is a magnet. And that will detect changes in magnetic field. So similar to EMF, it's been calibrated and it's sat on the floor. So essentially, if it lights up north or south, it means it's detecting a change in the ele electromagnetic energy in that area. So if that motion sensor goes off, in theory, that should check that sh that should trigger so that's the equipment we've placed and i think what we'll do is we're just about ready now to go lights out also got the uh oh. laser dots yep dan's got his laser pen so they're, they're on now yep you don't know if you can see all those little green blobs that's his laser pen okay so we're now going to go lights out and uh, get Alice running, dictaphone, all that kind of stuff. So for now, catch you later. Okay.
in the middle um, at the table some chocolate, a couple of chocolate bars and a can of drink. Hopefully that will attract any children if they're here. Or anyone Ooh, who's here. Here we go. Home. Alice said home. Total. Okay, what do you mean by home and total? Is this home to you? Or does that mean you want to go home? Thank you for communicating. You kind of jumped straight in. It's really good to know that you want to communicate with us. Can you tell us your name? Can you set off one of the devices on the window ledges? Just turned Alice around. Are there any children here that went to school at this small hall? It would have been a very small school. Did you have carpet time? If you're here, can you sit on the carpet? Can you sit on the rug down there? By the light? Tin. What about tin? I think what I'm actually going to do, as I have numerous digital recorders, I'm actually going to place one in the kitchen on its own, as that's an area. He's now moving the lights yeah, the that's me. Um, I'm getting another digital recorder out right, because I'm going to place it in the kitchen. Um, I'm now going to trigger that motion activation. There you go. I've triggered it. I'm going to get this recording. Okay, it's now recording. If there is anybody in here, I've left a digital recorder recording in here if you want to have a little conversation. Book, still going off, Dan. Have you been checking this? It says Tin Cloud Book. Mm -hmm. Tin Cloud Book. Book, very relevant to a school. And tin for the yes. particular school. What books did you read? Can you tell us what your favourite book was? If any of the devices here that are recording are picking up a little tss, tss, tss noise, it is Sacred. a heating system. Sacred. We are next to a church. So you read the sacred book, book, the Bible? The Bible, I was about to say that, actually. Got this digital recorder recording. I have a sacred book. I shall put it on a table over here. With the chocolate. So we've got the sweets and we've got the sacred book now. Do you want to place the EMF over there as Can well, if I turn it on? Dan's going to put the EMF with the trigger <coughs> objects. That's me moving the dictaphone if you hear any noises. Oh, it's going off. Oh, really? Look. Yeah. It is going off. Oh, go closer to those, it, to it, those objects. It's read by the Bible. Really? It's gone to full whack. This so, is not Bible, it's, it's just... Uh, Book of, uh, prayers. book of prayers but it is like so dan has placed some trigger objects over here and one of them is a book of prayers and the emf is going absolutely full whack next to chocolate not as much the drink well obviously they don't know what that is no. they used to water aren't they but the chocolate yeah chocolate bar yes but the book of prayers so I'm here, and I'm getting a couple of flashes. As soon as I get over to... Has it stopped? And that's gone. Oh, no, it's back. 
Are you at the chocolate now? They've looked at the book and now they're at the chocolate. Okay, right. Okay, leave, leave that on the table. I will Just do, leave yes. it on the table and see if you can lean it forward slightly. So you okay, can see it so we're going to leave that and we're oh. going to go back and we're going to see if we're getting any skeletal. In fact, what I'll do is I'll move the uh, rain board as well here. We'll see if we get activation on all of them. Okay, we're not getting any skeletal down near that table. No, unfortunately, I don't think it goes as far as the table. It only goes about 10, 10 20 feet. So here, have I got skeletal here? Who? Oh. So... Yes. Yes. Yep. Obviously... Yes. No. No. So it, the cut-off point is here. Okay, so... So I could move the equipment forward oh. anymore. To look at the table, if you like. Okay, we've got three letters. T P E. What does that mean? I've never had just random letters come up on Alice before. Normally words. Thomas! Hello Thomas! Is that you down near the chocolate bar? And the book of prayers? Is that you down near the chocolate bar? Dan's just moving the SLS closer to the table where the trigger objects are. Have you come to see what we're doing? We'd love to communicate with you, Thomas. We'd love to communicate with you, Thomas. Now, if my eyes are not deceiving me, that EMF meter is now static. Yep. You can see that in the middle of the table there. Dan's also moved his REM pod there as well as taking out the window. So suggested. What, what was suggested, Thomas? Can. Okay. We've had tin and can. Uniform. You wore a uniform, did you, Thomas? These are words coming up on Alice. Space. Are we in your space? Where Thomas? Can you tell us? Bed. Have you gone to bed? Is anybody else here with you, Thomas? Any friends with you? Friends you went to school with? is static in temperature, we've not had anything trigger in the kitchen or the corridor. There is a dictaphone recording in the kitchen all by itself. Um, we've not put a static camera out there. I don't think we need to place static cameras anywhere else because yeah, it is such a small location, so... Thomas, are you stood in front of the SLS? Thomas, are you stood in front of the SLS? Are you wondering what it is? Have you got something on it? No, I've got something in front of it. What do you mean? I'm actually recording a figure looking at the equipment recording. Betty. Hi Betty. Do you know Thomas? Betty, is that you in front of the SLS? Can you wave? You're going to be. Yeah. Is that a wave? So Dan is now Hello. running Ghost Tube, which is another form of SLS, on his phone, and he is picking something up standing in front of the other SLS. Disembodied. Alice just said disembodied slowly. Mm. Okay. Are you moving closer? Moat. Sigh. Frog. The 
we're getting quite a few words come through on Alice now. What did you mean by disembodied? Thomas or Betty, if you are communicating... Quarantines, we're getting some big words tonight. Quarantines. Seem. Do you like communicating with us? You're getting used to using Alice. That's good. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate it. Yes, Dan. Dan's not giving you his joke of the day yet. No. I don't know if he's got one for tonight, but be disappointed if he hasn't. Considering I cut out his joke when we did the hidden streets on Castle Meadow, Norwich. Mm. He had a really good one as well about shoes. Well. Yeah, shoes go to heaven. <laughs> we have souls. Thomas or Betty, is there anything else you'd like to say to us? I think, actually, Dan, I think one of your cat balls would be better on the floor. Oh. If they're walking about, is there one up here? On this windowsill ledge? There is. There is. I'm going to move this cat ball and I'm going to put it on the floor. Just down. <laughs> There. So I've moved the, one of the cat balls and it's on the floor now, taking it off the windowsill. Here's the main corridor. Okay. Thomas or Betty, I've placed one of Dan's cat balls down on the floor, not far from the table where the chocolate bar and the book of prayers are located. Old. Do you want to go and have a little kick of the ball? New moon. A figure. A scroll around the room. Do you want to go and kick the cat ball for us, Thomas or Betty? We'd really appreciate it if you could. What Dan is doing is he's playing around with lights so he can record from his phone, I believe. Yeah. Because he's left his camera on there. Dig. Okay, did you dig in the playground? Minister. We're getting quite a lot of words come through on Alice tonight in such a short space of time as well. Electric. Dance. Have people had dancers in here? Did you like to dance? Do you like watching people dance? If people are coming here. Chills. Time, yes, it is cold. Well, on the dance one, I'd just like to let people know that if they are having dancers here, not to worry about the ghosts and the spirits coming here because they won't bother you while you're dancing because they've got nobody to dance with. There you go, Dan's joke of the day. Not entirely sure what I make of that one, but I think he's just plucked that one out of thin air. There no, we go. I'm just waiting for the right one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Alice is going again. Mammy. Mammy? Okay, that's clean. Mammy, isn't that Irish? Okay, Dan's, is it your SLS has gone off? Yeah. Dan's SLS has gone off.
How did that happen? Has it, um, shut, has it shut down? Uh, the, everything... Day. The whole app had closed. Okay, so Dan's SLS has just shut itself down quite randomly. What, was your phone still recording? It was recording when it went off, so hopefully we'll have picked up what happened when it went off. Okay. Because um, it was recording. Temperature. Yes, it is cold in here. But it is a chilly night tonight. Draft. Yes, it's very drafty. Chilly and cold. Is there anybody else here with Thomas or Betty? Want justice. Right. Why do you want justice? Shit. Gun. Format. Okay, is that you messing about with the SLS and the tablet? Are you trying to do things with it? Free. You're free? Are you free? Love. Who do you love? Did you love coming here? I'm going to move the dictaphone that is still recording. Breaking the beam, I'm just going to come over to this table just here. Hear any noise on the dictaphone? That's me popping it down. Can you just shine a light towards me, please? Stay there. Have you got a torch? Can yeah. you just turn it on, please? Okay, thank you. Right, so the figure I was just picking up was next to you, not where you were, because I had a figure showing, but you shone your torch and suddenly you shone up, but there was a figure next to you, and well, it looks like I've captured it, so... Okay, we've just had something else on Alice. Phone. Mark. Hello, Mark. Can you just shine a light towards me, please? Stay there. Have you got a torch? Can you just turn it on, please? Okay, thank you. Right, so the figure I was just picking up was next to you, not where you were, because I had a figure showing, but you shone your torch and suddenly you shone up, but there was a figure next to you, and... It looks like I've captured it, so... Um, it would have been a little, it's still there, it's a bit further across, I'd say. If you're there, can you just speak into the dictaphone for me? Just, just say hello, say your name. Can you do that for me? Mark, Thomas or Betty? Can you wave? Can you wave at us? Dan is picking you up. Dance, we've had the word dance again. Trying very hard, they keep just... They just keep dropping in and out, in and out. They're flashing as if they're there and not there. Mark's come up again. Uh -huh. Word dance twice, cannon. Where are you, Mark? You've gone. Oh, there you are. Is it Mark? Give us Mark, a wave. Is that you? Because your name has come up consistently, and when Dan asked if that was you, you reappeared. Is that you, Mark, next to that table where my dictaphone is? I think it might be a bit further across. If that's you, Mark, can you wave at Dan, who's shining the torch? 
Oh, he's in front of the table now. Mark, he's moved. Mark, was... can you wave? If that is you, Mark, if, if that's your name, or Thomas or Betty. Right, I just shone the torch, Mickey. Control. Yeah, I just shone the torch over there because that was about where he was stood yeah. in the middle of my light. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, when I shone my torch, he actually moved. Thank you very much, Mark, if that's you. Can you can you just say something into the dictaphone? Would you like some chocolate or a drink? No, we'll be super quiet, Mark, okay? I'm going to ask you a question. Please, can you give us your answer by just talking into that little orange light on the table? Okay, so Mark, if that is you that's been moving about, can you tell us your age? Okay. Can you tell us yes or no? Did you live in Litcham? Okay. Do you know Thomas? Yes or no? Final question for you, Mark, if that is you. Do you know Betty? Yes or no? Horror. Horror. One thing I will just say, just quickly to viewers, is um, they are in desperate need for donations to renovate the hall here, just to keep it going. Uh, I don't normally do things like this, but uh, with this being such an old, old building, as I posted on our Facebook page, uh, during the week if you're looking for somewhere to come and investigate consider this place I know it's not very big but uh, every penny counts when it comes to them uh, renovating the hall uh, and it means obviously the world to the village and the people that run it as well they're volunteers so just putting it out there anyway back to the investigation Mark, are you still here with us? Have you left us? Thomas, Betty, Mark? Helena. Helena. Hi, Helena. The Magnavex does have an alarm on it as well, so although it will light up if the magnetic field changes, uh, we'll hear it as well. So I know we've not got a static camera in there, but we don't need it in there. It's literally next door, so we will hear it. Alice is going off again. It's, or is that ITS? We have had just like letters appear on this. There goes Alice again. Before time. Okay, now I would just like to point out that when we get more than one word come through on Alice, that is, that is a little bit out of the ordinary, made. As you can see, it is Alice generally is just like single words that come through. So when you get more than one, it really does mean something. S 
stay. We're not going anywhere yet. Thank you. Oh, off the EMF is going off. Stay there. Can you set that device off again, please? Is that on the book of prayers, Dan? Yeah. So the EMF just started going off after Dan asked for our devices to be triggered. Do you want to walk a little bit closer to that EMF, those little green and orange lights, and just set them off? Can you make it go to red for me? Really show me that you're here and you're interested in that book. Going. Two lights going. Okay, Alice is now going off again. Let me just zoom out. Study. Yeah, look. You come here. It's buzzing as well. Oh, that one. Yeah, your yeah. REM pod. Yeah, because it hasn't got sound, has it? It it's has. Really it's hard. doing it. It's, it's really hard to see on my camera, but that is actually. If I go near it, it goes like that. Right, okay, but the but, lights have gone really dim, but that is starting that to is trigger. That is starting to trigger. Okay, we've got some more words on Alice. Let's go and have a look. Aggression. And it said bathtub before that. Bathtub? Yeah. <whistles> table. Are you down near the table? Run. Why do we need to run? November. Yes, it is November. Hello. Yeah. We are Hello Spirit is yours. Charles. Hello, Charles. Charles, what's your connection with Jubilee Hall, which used to be a school. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is, um, I've got a new spirit box, so I'm just going to quickly get it set up and we'll give it a go as we're getting so much come through on Alice and we are getting activity here. So if you bear with, we'll give the new spirit box a go. Is anybody here that wants to communicate with us? Please use the white noise to come and say hello. Tell us your name. Thomas. Betty. Walter. Mark. Walter. Charles. Walter. Walter. Tina. Tina. Are we calling out a class? Handle. Walter. Hello. Okay, we just had a female voice come through. Very faint. Now, what did you just say? Off the red pod. 
I'm going to reset this radio yeah. pod. You don't. Maybe you revoke the device when you switched it off. Can we turn the digital recorder off as well? I know a technically shouldn't be in here, but I don't know, it just felt a bit weird in here earlier. I've got a dictaphone in my hand and I think Dan's behind me. You're in the gents. I am in the You're gents. In. Uh, another joke for the day. Look, he's so funny. I don't know about that. I don't know if he's funny. If there's anybody here that would like to communicate with me, can you please come forward and touch the grey device in my hand? I have an EMF in my hand. There's a little orange light in my hand as well, if you want to say anything in that. Hello? Hello? Can you make that noise again for me please? Can you make that door handle move? Can you knock on the door for me? Oh, hello! Do you want to get closer to the EMF for me? Just come and, come and touch it for me. You just came very close. Do you like us being here and talking to you? Thank you. My EMF is starting to fluctuate now. If you like us being here and communicating with you, can you make the EMF flash for me? Make it flash. If it's a yes, thank you very much. I don't know if the viewers can see that with my really bright infrared on. In fact I'm going to turn one of them off so just bear with me for a moment because it can be quite overpowering. Okay so you go I've just turned so you might be able to so there we go you can see the light a little bit better now. Have you gone? Have you passed through? Are you through with Dan? If you are still here, please do make it flash a little bit for me, please. If not, I'll leave. I'll go back through to the main hall. I mean, you know disrespect. I've just come to communicate with you. I just want to know more about who you are, your connection with the Jubilee Hall or even if it's your connection with the building when it was a school. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, we're going to go back through now. Okay, Dan's just come back in. Do you want a torch? Do you need a torch to see Dan? I've got one. Okay. Okay. Hello. What's your surname? Okay, that could be a surname. Is that John Allen? T. Allen? Mother Allen? Charles? Mother? Charles Allen? Mother? Who's mother are you? Hello? Who's mother are you? OK, 
okay if anyone is still here with us can you can you copy me can you copy me please I heard that. That was tapping. Did you hear it? Yes. Thank you very much. Can we can we try again? Can you copy me? Not resting. Shall we try one tap? Are you ready? Can you copy me, please? Have you gone away? Have you all gone? Mad. Alice says mad. Mm -hmm. Yes, she is mad. Bottom. Hasn't it said that before? Yeah. You like my bottom or do you like Dan's bottom? It was your bottom that was in the camera, right? <laughs> okay. Dan's, Dan seems to think it's my bottom. <laughs> and at this moment, as we're talking about Nikki's bottom, Nikki flicks over to a shot from earlier where her bottom was in the camera shot. Figure that, man. Right, we've now got a shot of Nikki's bum. Right. Just through this This place here. almost seems to feel like it goes through fluctuations of feeling that there's something here and things are happening and then it just drops and the whole atmosphere changes again. It is it does change a lot in here. Pace, whole pace. Trees. trees. Yeah, I was just looking at the trees out the window and they're very still. Remote. Okay, I'm in the kitchen doing spirit box session. Dan's camera's about to die. I've got six minutes left on this. I've got Alice running and a digital recorder, so we'll do this for as long as this battery lasts. Music. Yes, music would have been played here, third. Okay, that's the second time that word has come up tonight. You told me pinnacle, which is very relevant to the kitchen. Do you want to use the white noise and communicate through the white noise, through the spirit box? Okay, I just saw a shadow out there. I know there's like a light outside, but literally it's like someone was standing in front of the door. And the main entrance to this place is set back quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Anything else you would like to say to us whilst we are here?
halfway there. Nikki, Dan, hello spirit kissers. We have now finished our investigation at the Jubilee Hall in Litcham. Um, I have to say it's been a really interesting night. We've had lots of activity, lots of names come through on Alice. Um, it's going to be interesting reviewing all the footage just to see if we have picked up anything else. Um, we did have some uh, some voices coming through on the spirit box, so uh, it'd be interesting to see if any of the cameras or digital recorders um, picked that up a little bit more clearly. But Dan, um, what did you think? Very good evening. I'm freezing now. Well, there you have it. It's winter, so for now, catch you later. Bye.